Okay, so today we're going to learn how to create a bended photo effect just like the one you're seeing here. Okay, so let's get started. Now, you want to have um, select your picture and then we want to drag it down to the box here to make a duplicate layer. Then we want to select the background, make sure your colors are reset, you can press D to reset. Um, then go select all and delete so the background's white then we want to duplicate the white background again and then fill it with black so now if we add that we can see that it's filled with black then we want to go select deselect and then image canvas size change these two percentages and then depending on how like if your pitch is longer or wider will vary the percentages that you select so I'm just going to select those ones and then basically because you want to select it so you can rotate it sideways and it fits in the picture otherwise you'll have problems so now we're going to select that go into edit transform rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise it's important that you have the top of the picture facing to the right because um, when you bend it it distorts it slightly so we're just going to go into this filter distort and shear and then we're just going to set that at about halfway or a bit past halfway and then go to edit, transform, rotate counterclockwise to get it standing and we're just going to hide that layer and select the black layer and then uh, go to edit, transform, rotate counterclockwise and then filter, distort, shear but this time we want to do it just a bit less so I'm just going to hit OK there and then I'm going to edit transform but we're going to rotate it counterclockwise again so that the shadow is bending downwards then we want to go filter blur Gaussian blur and select about three pixels depending on how big your image is and then just change the opacity to about 40 percent now you can view that layer again select the move tool and select the background and just line that up with the shadow there and then we want to select the shadow and then go edit free transform and then whilst holding control just um, drag it out a bit and in a bit here just to give you that shadowy looking effect it's up to you how much you want to drag it out and then hit tick and then we're going to hold shift and select both layers and then link them and then go into edit transform free tra or edit free transform and then just with your arrow over here just sort of turn it around and give it a tick move it over and then we want to use the burn tool and select the range for highlights exposure around 24 percent just select the background copy here which is the picture and then just sort of add that there just so it looks like it's a bit of a shadow and then whilst holding the alt tree alt key it will change it to the opposite so we can make it a bit brighter here and so just so it's got that shadowy type look okay so i hope hope this has been a help to you and thanks for watching